Hi, I'm Roberta. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make one of my favourite Japanese dishes, agadashi tofu. Now, whether you think you like tofu or not, I'm betting you're going to like this one. This is something I can never resist on a Japanese menu. Silken tofu, tossed in potato flour, deep fried, it's always good once it's deep fried, right? In a delicate dashi broth with a little soy sauce, some bonito flakes dancing over the top, a little daikon, a little ginger. It's a beautiful entree, a beautiful side dish. I'm happy to just have it for dinner with some steamed rice. So let's get started. When you buy tofu, some of them have a handy sign on the edge that says easy peel and the rest of them don't. I don't know why everyone doesn't do it, but make your life easy. Make sure you get one of these easy peel ones because you want to keep that block intact. So easy peel, the lid just comes off. Get rid of all of that. There's a little bit of water on there that I want to drain off. And unless we were incredibly accomplished cooks, we're not going to be able to handle that silken tofu to dust it in the potato starch. It would fall apart on us. So we're going to drain it. A rack, some paper towel, and first thing we're going to do is get our tofu. Sometimes it comes out easier than other times. There we go. Get our tofu out of the container. More paper towel on top. A plate upside down to weight it down and a can on top of that. I like to drain it for about an hour. You could probably get away with half an hour, but an hour is good. It's still silken, but it's firm enough to handle. So I'm going to put that aside for about half an hour. Then I'm going to change the paper and give it another half hour. Meanwhile, there's a few other things we can get ready. So while our tofu is draining, we can get everything else ready. We're going to make a sauce with some soy sauce, some mirin, and some of that beautiful primary dashi that we made the other day. And I'm not going to heat it yet because we want this sauce to be warm when we put our tofu in it, but it's good to have it ready to go. Other things, some ginger that I've already grated, some green onion that I've chopped, and some daikon, white radish. Now you can sometimes find smaller daikon than this because we don't really need this much, but um, if not, you get a daikon like this, hopefully you get a smaller one, and we just grate it. Now it is quite watery, so what we're going to do is grate it and then squeeze it to remove most of the water, and that's just going to be a garnish for our agadashi tofu. So once we've got a good grate, you'll see that you start off with about a tablespoon. When you squeeze it, you get rid of a lot of moisture and you end up with about half of what you started with. And we're just going to mound that onto our agadashi tofu. Let's see how our tofu is doing. So let's see how our tofu is doing. It's had its second draining. It's first draining, it's saturated the paper. This is second time round. There's a little bit less coming out of it, but still quite a bit. And now it's still lovely and wobbledy, but it's also firm enough to handle, which is what we want. So cutting it into eight, let me get rid of this. We'll cut it down the center. And we'll cut it in half and in half again. And carefully, isn't it beautiful? Pop it into the potato starch and give it a good coating. Just going to turn it over, make sure all sides are well coated. Depending on the size and shape of your bowl, you might do it in batches. I don't wanna leave it in here for ages, but I do like to leave it sit for a few minutes because it soaks up more starch over time and the potato starch gives it that lovely, chewy, stretchy texture when it's deep fried, which for me is part of the charm of this dish. 
So we might just leave that there for a minute. We have our agadashi broth here. I'm going to pop that on to warm gently. Once it comes to a simmer, I'll take it off the heat and just cover it, and that's going to be the sauce or the soup in which our tofu is served. So just sitting in the starch, you can see that it's soaked up some of that. So I'm just going to give it one more quick roll, dust off any excess, pop it on a clean plate, and then to the stove and we will deep fry. So our sauce has just come to a simmer. I'm going to cover that now and turn it off. Our oil's nice and hot. Generally, I think you're gonna fry these in batches. So a couple at a time into the hot oil. Just make sure they separate. And we'll just give them a couple of minutes until they're nice and crisp. So after two to three minutes, you can see they're nice and crisp. They're not going to color. The potato starch doesn't color. So we'll just pop those onto some paper towel to drain. So once our tofu's deep fried, we want to move fairly quickly. Ideally, you're putting these into bowls that you've heated. And we're going to, I like to center them together because I quite like the way the daikon looks when it sits on top. Some ginger on top of that. It's all going to get mixed up when you eat it anyway, but I think it looks kind of pretty like this. Some green onion around the bowl. You don't want it to go soggy too quickly, but this is something that you want to eat fairly quickly. So our broth around it rather than over it, if possible. Little bits going over it, that's okay. Our broth around it. Oh, this is so aromatic with that lovely smoky, dashy, I can smell the soy, it's beautiful. And some more bonito flakes over the top which sometimes if it's hot enough, they just start to dance. I don't, yes, yes, they're doing it. The heat lifts them up and you get this beautiful dancing bonito flakes. Yum, agadashi tofu, enjoy.